it's a very very big advantage if you are in shipping and with an engineering background the reason is that Hi everyone, Jai Hind, Jai Bharat, Jai Matadi. I have got Captain Rana with me, who will help us from ship to shore. To reach the sea. And today the question is, sir, that if you are a marine engineer, and we'll be first. This video is about broader aspect of engineering. Then slowly we'll go into the deeper thing as well. So if you are a marine engineer and you want to go to shore, we have already discussed in the last video that the three options: either you can go for core shipping, or you can go for broader maritime. Aspects or completely outside shipping. So in this video, we are going to cover the aspects of core shipping. Say you are a marine engineer and you want to ship from ship to shore and you want to stay connected with core shipping. So what all options do we have? Please, sir. Right. Hey, thanks for having me here, uh, Pranit, again, and love to speak with uh, you and your uh, followers. Um, so right. Let me um, first uh, start by saying that you know. It's a very very big advantage if you are in shipping and with an engineering background. The reason is that you have certain core skills which can be replicated, used anywhere and everywhere. Honestly, right? Um, you you, are, you essentially work on machinery. Machinery can be used in a um, automobile plant. It can be used in a factory. It can be used um, in a hospitality industry anywhere and everywhere so 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 yes the skills can be used anywhere but right now the focus is what can you do within the shipping um once you enter as a marine engineer and you are sailing on board the vessels right um so there are a host lot of things which 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 you can do within shipping as well so to start with you could possibly get into um data management right um so uh, so which means there are a lot of uh, sensors now on board a vessel and companies need someone who understands the data which is coming and process them right so you understand the data which is coming and just with a little bit of skill enhancement you can process them as well right so that's one very uh, upcoming and one field where there's a lot of opportunities coming through right so vessel data manager other is uh, uh, optimization right so if you are not extremely good in the tech side on the it side but you want to focus totally on the technical side right not the uh, it but only technical side then maybe on the optimization side wherein you get the data someone processes the data for you and you are able to take meaningful decisions based on that right um so so that's the other field third is uh, there are a lot of companies which are now having their purchase department in india and ideal fit is someone who's probably a junior engineer or a fourth engineer third engineer they can really add a lot of value by becoming uh, a purchaser and i have known a lot of uh, um um uh, engineering folks who have who are now managing the purchase department of a shipping company right you can become a assistant technical superintendent and that's also something which uh, which a lot of people have done at a junior level at a senior level of course you can become a technical superintendent as well right um you can also get into um crewing right now um this typically uh, we see more uh, persons from the deck side uh, over there because they deal with the uh, administration uh, administrative task more but there is a demand for persons who have a engineering background and who can get into crewing right then there are surveys right and the surveys could be you know n type of surveys and i'm just keeping a broad uh, name saying surveys it could be classification society surveys um it could be your sale and purchase surveys it could be machinery surveys um it could be uh, hull inspection surveys um so n number of surveys where a marine engineer can add value planned maintenance systems right um uh, the way to um execute a pms system to monitor the pms system and ensure that uh, it is being followed that only and only a marine engineer can do it in the best way possible right uh, 
bunker management right uh, and with you know with opex operational expenses coming into the picture a lot bunker being one of the major um, uh, places where the cost is um, uh, expended where the money is expended you can actually act as a bunker manager uh, uh, in a way right one very important place where an engineer can also get into is on the commercial side of shipping very few marine engineers are there but um, i know at least 3 or 4 who are doing very well for themselves so commercial shipping again is one place where you could get into right. sir these are the you have given me 10 options so now i would like to repeat those options and see just this is the clarity one is vessel data manager correct second is vessel voyage optimizer third correct. is sail and purchase sir i know one of my batchmates uh, who was who did just i think he did not he did just one sailing as junior engineer he went into sail and purchase today he is in the heading one of the biggest shipping companies for the sail and purchase just with one sail but yes correct. he had his own ups and downs he is in mumbai assistant technical manager technical superintendent is a normal way ki chief here bane go for technical superintendent crewing we know sir manish pradhan sir today he was right. the head of bangalore then today he is with other shipping company so crewing me then surveys i completely agree sir even today they say in irs uh, and so many jobs are keep coming right, right sir okay. a plan maintenance system to ma- monitor pms completely agree sir bunker management you go to dubai you go to singapore you find lot of Young marine engineers coming over there, sir. I am bunker surveyor. I am this. So these are all the options. Uh, commercial side of shipping, yes, sir. Another thing that is chartering, ship broking, sir. Correct. Which we will making separate videos specifically for them. And then I will try to invite some of the leaders in shipping industry in the ship chartering and broking, so that people can get more ideas. And sir, this video is thank you very much for this. And if we can add some more nuances later on, we'll do that. So guys, this is the first video. in which we are talking about what marine engineers can do in core shipping in the next video issue we will see what marine engineers can do not inside core shipping but in the maritime fraternity in the broader view thank you very much thank you captain rana thank you jai hind jai bharat jai mata di if you have any query you can please mail us on this email id we will be there to help you with the help of captain rana and his guidance his team Hi guys, Jai Hind, Jai Bharat, Jai Mata. So you're a marine engineer who is thinking of transitioning from ship to shore. There are a lot of options. You have just seen one. So if you want to do a whole detailed course where you can see all options in front of you in terms of course shipping, what all options you have in terms of if if not course shipping, outside course shipping, what all options do you have? Outside complete shipping, what all options do you have? What kind of skill set is expected from you? What will be your salary? This complete there is a complete free course made by us. on merchant navy decoded website please go to the description box or in the comment section you will find that course which is helping today hundreds of seafarers marine engineers make well informed decisions in case you have got any query any problems you can just contact the merchant navy decoded and we'll help you jai hind jai bharat jai mata